All right, I'm gonna work on a little brakes here today. I'm gonna try to finish it up uh, by putting uh, putting the fittings on here for the the, the copper hose and stuff, and uh, putting the muffler on and uh, the carburetor. I'm gonna use this carburetor here, you know, because that uh, that one seems to be in better shape. And I was gonna put this kind of a air cleaner on there but this thing looks like hell you know I like the acorn they call these acorns but then I came across this one which was on one of the other motors and I've never seen one let me, let me get a better grip on it sorry about that let me get a better grip on it there I don't know if you can see how clear that that top is that's unbelievable it's like it was uh, put away and uh, never used or something or never had oil in it because them things are usually really cloudy. You know, I hate to take something off another engine, but uh, in this case, I might. These actually have two different tops on them. And I'm deciding which top to use. See, that one has like three indents on it. On the sides here, these little, uh, I don't know I don't know what, what they're for, but uh, and this one doesn't. This one's just round. But uh, it's amazing how clear that is. I was looking for a, a steel one, you know, I was going to paint paint that in the top blue, but uh, I couldn't find them. I did find older uh, or a newer one. You see, like even this one, see how, see how yellow they are? I do have one of these in the shed, which is a newer model, but they're a little square, you know, and nobody would know the difference. And I could, I could have put an acorn top on that, but... Uh, I think I might go with that clear one. All right, but first, uh, got to clean up a little bit here. This uh, the bench is a mess here. We had a busy night, so they, they just threw everything on the counter here. So I'm gonna clean up first, and then uh, we'll get to this. This video might bounce around a little bit because uh, you know I'll be doing a couple different things. Oh yeah, rat eater too. I was gonna uh, fix the. There's a problem with the top of the radiator. Radiator, sorry, radiator. And I was going to fix that. But I also picked up some uh, lumber here too. I'm not going to do this. This ain't going to be in this video. But that's, uh, we got to make a, a sled for it, a display sled. So like I said, we uh, we might be bouncing around a little bit. But uh, we'll try to get get a video, get something together for you. Right, let me clean this bench up over here first. All right. It's funny how, how sometimes you spend so much time thinking things over, trying to figure out what's going to look better and how one thing's going to work. And like this, you know, I was going to put this this top here on, on this and uh, all that. And you spend all the time thinking about it and finding parts and all that. And then something comes along and, and makes, you, makes your mind up for you. And that's what happened here. This, uh, this top here is actually different, slightly different, you know, but just different enough that it won't work. This uh, and, and and something I learned here. This one, this is plastic actually. It's actually pretty thick plastic, but this one here is plastic. I, I've never seen anything like that. But anyway, this one just uh, it won't fit down there. It won't go. It won't go any further than that. So we can't use that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take this out, clean this up, and paint it. And I'll just I'll just use it. That's all. And if I if I come across another one I like better, I'll uh, I'll change it later on. But uh, there you go. Briggs made my mind up for me. All right, let me get this uh, out and paint it, and I'll get back to you. All right, got these fittings put in the head in the block. I got them turned just a, a little askew there, because uh, if you go straight down, it's going to hit the, the engine there and vibrate and wear through the paint. So if you put it askew, you'll have a little bit of room there. And same with this one up here. This uh, this will come down alongside the other one, and then we can run dual dual pipes down. So I think that'll look okay. All right, what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to work on a gas tank. I'm going to take uh, the carburetor off of here, and this here is going to be a new gas tank. You know, it doesn't right now. You say, "What the hell are you doing that for?" But uh, it actually, looks pretty good. I'll take you back here, and we'll show you this other engine. Get a lot of compliments on it. People love that. You know, we got dual carburetors on there, and uh, we use the glass jars for the carburetor air. 
and the gas tank and people seem to love it plus so we can tell when we're out of gas and if you if you have these here you fill it up and, and screw them on and you don't uh, you don't pour gas and spill gas all over the rest of the engine so there's a lot of advantages to it besides the looks okay let's get back to work well, so while I'm at it I'm going to uh, change this plug out back here dress it up a little bit put this brass plug in there all these little things uh, just make it look a little better at the shows it doesn't cost all that much all right got the carb mounted there and uh, the gas tank and uh, I was going to put I think my lights on here yeah sorry about that let's do that again all right got the gas tank on the carburetor on I painted the hat and I got some good hammer out of that paint that came out pretty good and uh, over here I can put this this muffler in here this is a custom made muffler uh, Baggett's Corner made that for me uh, and they're nice they're real nice stainless steel I could put this in here straight like that but uh, I don't, I don't like the way, the way it looks. What I want to do is try and get a 45. I'll get a brass 45 or something like that and put it up on an angle. Stick it out like that. I think it'll look a lot better. So this is uh, pretty much done. Put our little plug in here. And uh, I'd say that's all ready to go. All right, let me draw your attention over here to this radiator. If you remember last, we had a problem with this uh, hole leaking. You know, I tried all kinds of sealants and tapes and stuff. And one of my tubers there, one of my uh, subscribers, uh, told me, he, he mentioned something to me. He actually told me twice. Let me put my light on here so you can see. It actually wasn't the threads. It was where uh, these threads must be mounted in there with this rivet. And it was between these threads here. Trying to zoom in for you there. Got a big gap. So I got to try and fill that gap in without messing up the threads and cleaning that out. You know, when you solder something, it's got to be pretty, uh, pretty clean for that to stick. Same with epoxy. So I don't know what I'm going to do there, but uh, we'll do something. Even if we just got to cover the whole hole up and fill it in, we know where the problem's at. But anyway, if this uh, this radiator is uh, working good now. I mean, it's uh, sealed up and and it's cleaned out and everything like that. But if I couldn't have gotten that to work, I had this as a backup. This here is a Ford radiator, and it's just about let me put it up here. I can't stand back far enough for you to see, but it's just about the same size. Let me turn this a little bit so you see what it looks like with the cover on. You see that covers just about everything. And now if I use this one, I so say this is brand okay. I got this on eBay for five hours. It actually cost me more to ship than it did for the, the radiator itself. But I could have made that work, you know. Just uh, cut it and extend it about an inch. But uh, that would that would have been our that would have been uh, our second choice. A lot, I got a lot of suggestions. I mean, some guys saying send it out to a radiator shop and everything. It would have cost two hundred dollars to have this thing torn, torn apart, cleaned out, rotted, put back together, and painted, and you don't put the two hundred dollars into this kind of project. That's that's just ridiculous. And then I also bought this. I had I had another backup here. This this is a radiator off of a motorcycle. You know, it's it's even smaller than than that one there, but it would have done the job. You know, and that was only ten bucks. You know, you can't you can't put that kind of money in there. And the guys were suggest some of the, some of the suggestions I got there were kind of nasty too, but uh, we can take it. Oh yeah, the guy that the guy that mentioned this to me uh, about that that radiator hole, he mentioned that twice on one one uh, video. He mentioned it. But I, I didn't really didn't understand what he was saying, you know, because I was messing with this at the time. I wasn't messing with that, you know. And I thought he had seen something move when I was uh, putting his pipe in and stuff. But he actually was telling me that. His name was uh, 
Mike Dovlo. So thanks, Mike. And he was persistent, too. He told me twice. So uh, I probably would have found it eventually, but he saved me a lot of time. Then another subscriber, Fire and Gasoline, was going to send me a, one of these here. He had one out of a, this one's out of a Taurus, Ford Taurus. I think he had one out of a, a Mercury Marquee or something. But anyway, thanks a lot, guys. I appreciate uh, trying to help. So, uh, I guess the next move here is try to try to clean this up and uh, fill that up without messing up the threads. And if I mess the threads, I'll just have to re-thread it and hope it works. Alright. I don't know where we're at on this, but uh, we probably got enough to make a video out of it. Alright. Enough of this.